So guys, right, keeping great angles on the way down, not standing up on it, getting shaft lean compression so that you can hit better shots, so that you can improve your scores, and so that you can get more out of your golf. In this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, a better way, a different way of looking at how transition works with hands, wrists, and club head. And this is gonna open up your eyes. We're gonna take a peek later on at some clips of some unbelievable ball strikers in slow motion. I've got some really cool exercises, some drills here, and to show you how to get in there to create some better angles on the way down so that you can get some shaft lean. The hands and the wrists, the release through the golf ball, extremely important that we get our hands on the right information. The first off, what we're gonna look at here is when we're looking at doing drills and exercise without a golf club to create body awareness. You need big, clear pictures. You need a plan, you need to chip away at things and get yourself moving in the right direction. What we're gonna be looking at doing with this first feel or drill to really shallow out the shaft and get the hands moving effectively so that you can handle some shaft lean is we're gonna get the hands and the fingers together like this and when we get up to the top of the swing what we're going to do is push the right palm and the right elbow against the left or the right palm against the left palm you can see the move that i'm doing here you see i'm pushing this elbow in and when i'm getting into this position this lead wrist has moved a little bit more into flexion we've got a really big angle here just have a look as i move up and down you can try this yourself Leave your comments underneath. Let me know. If you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to subscribe. YouTube told me to say that. I was writing to them and say, oh, you've got to, you've got to get them involved a little bit more and, and get them to subscribe. I think people know that anyway, but uh, subscribe and hitting the, hitting the bell for all and you get there's plenty of videos coming your way. Right, look, let's get into this move here. Up to the top of the swing and you can see as I push the right hand and the right elbow. Now, obviously what that's doing is it's shallowing out the shaft, but it's also closing the club head a little bit. We've got so many amateur golfers opening up the face coming down, you know, around seven to nine degrees, and then they flip to square, stand up, not to hit it fat and thin. So guys, right, just a quick clip before we get back to the video. Mike Austin, what a ball striker, Ben Hogan. Look at this move from the top of the swing. It is absolutely unbelievable. Watch this elbow, I'll draw a line down from Austin. Right, now watch this right elbow push against the left. Have a look at this. You see where he's taking that elbow now? Have a look at that again. Squeezing those elbows together. You can see the gaps getting smaller in here. And it's just that initial part, just to create better wrist alignment, some awareness in your swing. Because club golfers are doing the opposite. Let's have a look at Hogan from the top of the swing. You'll see this elbow joint, the bottom of this elbow moving in in this direction. Let's have a look at this. You can actually see that first move. And this is a great drill in itself, just to create the feeling of what your hands and your wrists are doing. Now let's have a quick look here at what the club players are doing. Unfortunately, so many of them around the world are doing the opposite and they don't really realize it. And they're getting this right elbow to lift and causing all sorts of issues and getting the elbows then to widen and causing the lead wrist to move into extension. And this is when we're flipping, losing the shaft lane that we're after. Now we've got a great drill here on the through swing to match up this, to complement this. Let's get back into the. So your hands and wrists, you know, great players will do this subconsciously, but this is a really good drill if you do it correctly. Right, let's have a look. So we're gonna take the club back and then we're gonna move this, push this right elbow, push this hand in so that we get See that club coming down and now it's behind the hands. Now, once I lose this angle here, once I lose this strong position and this angle in the right hand, look what happens. The club gets outside here and the club's in front of me. And this is a really awkward position to be in. So by applying this practice swing, pushing the hands together, you can sort of see the move that I'm doing here. We can illustrate it with all sorts of things. We see the red side, black side, keeping the red side away from us but they're really squeezing this elbow in together now you don't want to hang on to this angle for too long now when we're looking at moving through the ball what we need to do is get this lead thumb to really move around to the left so when i'm hitting this if there was a wall behind me here i'm really trying to swing through and get this club head to hit the wall because i'm trying to get this angle here a big angle in the back of this right wrist back into square but I'm really letting it go in the end, in the impact, and then letting this club hit that wall. 
So your left thumb is actually going to move in this fashion here. When you have a look at my thumb, I'm going to bring this thumb down. It's going to be nice and straight here and really move this lead thumb into this angle through the ball. And this is what helps us square it all up. Now this is what helps get the, the flow after impact and get ourselves moving much more effectively. So by you know, creating this feel in your hands here, you can see how my pushing that lead hand into impact, and then on the other side, letting that club head hit the wall. And don't be afraid to let this lead wrist move into extension. So guys, right, there's your end product, evidence-based instruction. The closer you get to this position, the better you're gonna hit the golf ball. How do you know it? Well, you film it with your mobile phone. You've all got a high-speed camera. Who's not filming their swings with these days? What good player doesn't film their swings? If you're really not filming your swings, you know, there's a big, big chance you're just completely wasting your time. Now let's have a look at this club face position just quickly as it's pointing just up on this side. If you're not using track mat, you're not using flight scopes, if you get this club in just behind the hands and point on this side of 12, you're gonna have great numbers, I guarantee it. Right, now we're gonna be looking at plane here through the golf ball, the release, the lead thumb, and how the wrists move effectively. Imagining that this line here is the wall. Have a look where the golf ball is positioned. All right, now let's have a look when the arms are around parallel to the ground here, the club head's hitting the wall, all right? Now this illustrates your left thumb mirrors the shaft angle, the shaft plane. So your thumb points there, all right? Now this drill in itself, you get yourself in this position, now the lead wrist will be moved into extension there. You've got McElroy on the left and Dodge Kimmer from the Asian Tour. What an iron play this guy is on the right here. And what you do is get yourself in this position and you can rewind it and swing back through, creating awareness, feel, sensation, getting to the top, squeezing the elbow down, releasing it through. And look, it might be at the start something you can't quite connect to. But you know that when we practice, we do improve so that in time, you're going to hit your goals. You're going to get the most out of your game. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Really interesting area here when we look at this lead thumb moving into this position. Have a look at uh, when we're seeing most of the club players unfortunately out there. What we're seeing them through the ball, obviously the lead thumb is actually pointing in this position here. And really they can't release it. You see how high that elbow is moving through the golf ball. We can really see this shaft is really in an awkward position. Imitating what the great players do because the game's such a difficult thing to feel, isn't it? You're standing over the golf ball saying it's all about feel. It's not what are you really feeling, let's be honest. It's just so hard, but if you get yourself filming feedback, getting into your technique, you're going to play the best golf that you can play, and that's what we're all trying to do. And on World Class Golf Instruction, we've got players improving between four to 11 shots, which is absolutely remarkable, and getting them to become aware of swing geometry, really looking at themselves. The really the greatest thing is when you're playing well, to have your swing, you know, using the V1 system, that's something that I'm using here, have it saved. I do this, I've been doing this for so long, it's helped my pitching, when I've been pitching or hitting it really, really well, I save it because it's so hard to play good for longer than just a couple of weeks and our tendencies tend to take over our swing. And I want you to know what your tendencies are. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if, you, if you liked it, give it a like, it helps me out. And have a look at worldclassgolf.com. We've got 65 series and practice programs and it really is uh, a great place to be. You can get online lessons there where the format is the same as this here. You'll have side-by-side -side examples with my voiceover and uh, looking around a 20 minute video there and uh, I'm teaching people from all over the world. Guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of videos are coming your way. See you next time.